Hello guys! My name is Victoria Pavlov. I am the Photoshop artist. Welcome to my studio. How are you this morning? It's Wednesday. Yeah! Almost weekend. Okay, two more days. Uh, today guys we will talk about photo compositing in Adobe Photoshop on the iPad. Yes guys! Uh, today I will show to you the easiest way as usual of creating something very beautiful and unique using your mobile device using your uh, iPad. I will be using iPad Pro and Apple uh, Pencil. Uh, let me uh, rearrange my uh, chat uh, windows just to see all your comments just like this and one more second guys yes I will switch to my desktop camera and now you will be able to see my iPad. I will click on uh, my Adobe folder and I will open Adobe Photoshop on iPad. Here guys, um, in the home screen of Adobe Photoshop on the iPad, we uh, have a few ways to start our project with. We can start uh, with um, uh, our Photoshop file we previously worked with, or we can create um, a new document, or we can start with uh, your image. It's up to you. I will click on um, create new, just like that. And here, guys, look at this. Uh, we have a lot of default presets that we can use for... Hello, hello, Andre. How are you? Um, here um, we have a lot of um, ready to go presets we can work with for print, for screen, for a film and video. It's up to you guys. Just click on anything you like. Um, use any preset you like. I will use um, iMac 27 preset because if I will like what we will create today, I will use it as my wallpaper for my iMac. I will click on it. If I need, I will adjust my setting, but I like as this and I will click create. And voila, just like this. Now guys, what I will do, I will click on, um, you know what? I don't like this um, size. I will switch to, 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 maybe, 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 uh, okay. Um, Let's click on this preset I used before. Yes, yes, yes. So guys, as you see, hello, Stefan, you can use any uh, size for your document. Everything is up to you. Everything depends on your um, workflow, of your design. Uh, everything depends on your client. Um, now, on the left side of my um, iPad screen, you can see uh, I have opened toolbar. At the bottom uh, of uh, this toolbar, I have... Um, um, image icon, I will click on it and I have a few ways of bring uh, image I would like to work with uh, into my um, open document. I can uh, click on photos and I will be able to open my image um, in my um, photos folder on iPad. I can um, bring my image from uh, my uh, Creative Cloud files, or libraries, or I can even uh, take um, a picture using my iPad uh, camera. I will show to you a few ways today. First of all, I will click on photos. I will click on all photos and here I have image I would like to work with today. I will click on it and just like this. This image will be So happy to see you here, Andrea. Busy is good. Busy is always good. Um, this is this image will be our background image. I will click done because I don't want I don't need to resize or um, reposition my background image. I like it as it is. And Photoshop on iPad is smart enough to understand that maybe I need to bring in another image. And as you can see. Uh, Photoshop, Photoshop suggests me um, a few a few options. I will click on photos again. I will click on all photos again. And here I will click on this um, very beautiful mermaid. Uh, and now, guys, I would like to scale it down. I will just scale size down of this image just like this. 
And guys, you can scale size up or down or re um, reposition your image, uh, your layer at any time. Um, I think I like it as it is right now and I will click done. <clears throat> Thank you Photoshop, but I don't need another image for now. <clears throat> uh, what I need to do right now, definitely I need to remove this uh, background from uh, my uh, second image. I will click on a lasso tool, um, click and hold. And here guys, we have select subject um, tool. I love this tool. I will click on it and this is what I need to do. Photoshop selected my uh, mermaid for me, but this image is very difficult to work with, guys. Look at all these details, sand details, background details. Um, so Photoshop did a great job, but still I would like to re uh, fix my selection. What I will do, I will uh, ask Photoshop, you know, Photoshop, I don't need this in my selection. It's, and as you can see, I can... Um, switch to any other tool, selection tool. I I can increase size of my brush and I selected this part of, um, I fixed this part of my selection, but again, I don't like it. Um, I made mistakes, so I will zoom in and I will ask Photoshop, you know, Photoshop, yes, I need this part will be included in my selection as well. And guys, yes, you can switch between a uh, subtract and add uh, some um, parts to your selection. Um, uh, to do better job, you need to zoom in your document. It will be much, much easier and bring size of your brush down. And just like this. Look at this. Now, uh, also I have um, this part I would like to fix. I don't need this part will be included. And also, uh, you know, Photoshop, I don't need this part will be included in my selection. And also here. Guys, zoom in your document and this way it will be much, much easier. Even if you made mistake like I did, you can fix anything and just like this. Also, I would like to add this part to my selection. And now I'm happy with my selection. Uh, maybe I will fix this part. Okay, just like that. After I'm happy with my selection, I will, at the bottom of my screen, you can see I have pop-up uh, tools, features I can use. I will click on mask and this is what I need again to do. Photoshop I uh, did the job for me. Now I can switch to move tool and I can reposition my mermaid in a way I like. So, and as you noticed guys, Photoshop creates a layer mask for me to switch between a layer mask icon and your image icon, simply swipe your um, icon to the left or to the right. Now, yes, now I need to bring another image into my document. I will click on image icon one more time. And here I have my photos. I will click on photos and here I have this beautiful uh, shell. I will scale size down, but I will resize it later on and I will click done. And yes, I will switch back to select subject tool and voila, Photoshop selects this um, um, shell for me, but I would like to um, include the part of this um, shadow to my uh, shelf. shell. What I will do, I will increase um, selection brush size and I will ask Photoshop to add this part to my selection and I will mask it down just like this. Now I will switch to a uh, scale tool and I will scale size up just like this. Let's see. Yes, exactly as I wanted. I will reposition it. I will click OK. Now we have another problem, guys. Now our mermaid behind this shell. But guys, we are talking about Photoshop. We are talking about Adobe mobile application. All Adobe applications are smart enough to understand that the best way is to work with layers. What I will do? I will click on my uh, top layer, my uh, shell layer, and I will restock it under my uh, mermaid. Don't pay attention to shell um, 
shadow we will fix it just in a second what i need to do i need to reposition my um uh mermaid using move tool i will lift her up and i will um reposition it inside the shell but what i would like to do i would like to scale size up for my mermaid just like this yes perfect done guys remember we um removed a background from um, our mermaid image and photoshop creates a layer mask i will make sure that um i highlighted my layer mask not a layer um, Im um image um, icon a layer mask icon i will switch to my brush tool with black color i will zoom in my document and i its brush is too big i will bring size of my brush down and i will paint out this size uh, this part of my mermaid because i want my mermaid will be sitting inside the shell just like that look at this i will bring size of my brush down and i will fix my edges just like that guys nothing is too complicated beautiful 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 now our mermaid sits inside the shell like i wanted let's talk about our shell uh i like it i can add a little bit contrast to it later on but what i would like to do i would like to fix this shadow i will click on my shell uh, layer I will switch between a image icon and um, a layer mask icon so i'm uh i want to be sure that i highlighted a layer mask i will switch to my brush tool any brush tool you're more comfortable with i prefer brush with uh, soft edges it's much much easier to work with and what i will do i will increase size of my brush and i will bring down opacity of my brush and using this setting i will I need brush size bigger using this setting i will um paint out this part of uh, my um shell layer um just like that so switch um between um bigger a uh, value um uh, opacity of your brush and lower opacity of your brush to create nice 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 shadow and again guys um we are working on mobile um i'm working with apple pencil apple pencil has great pressure sensitivity pressure sensitivity is your friend uh, with painting with graphic design if you work um, on mobile uh, uh, apple pencil has great 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 pressure sensitivity if you work on desktop a uh, wacom tablet uh, pen a uh, wacom pen has great uh, pressure sensitivity so now we have this kind of um shadow uh it's not so important because this part will be not visible but but what i would like to do i would like to uh, uh i would like to improve a uh, mask around my mermaid because she sits in inside the shell but uh, her uh, tail uh located on top of um this sand and definitely it will be not just like st straight line um between uh this this sand and her tail we need to make a uh, illusion that some part of her tail inside of um this sand and everything like that so i will uh, i would like to make sure that i have highlighted my layer mask not my um mermaid image a layer mask I will bring size of my brush down. I will zoom in my document and I I will increase um uh opacity of my brush to 100% and I will bring size of my brush down. And I will paint out part of her tail just like that just to make sure that yes, she um her tail is on top of the sand. So part of her tail will be inside the um uh sand part of her tail will be above the um uh sand if you made mistake if you painted out more than you wanted simply switch color of your brush to white and paint it back just like this now 
we have illusion that our um, Merry Maid uh, tail uh, on top of um, part inside of uh, our um, sand and part on top. Same about shell. I will highlight my uh, shell layer, mask layer, and I will paint out this part. I'm not paying attention a lot to bottom of my shell because it, this part will be not visible. By the way, guys, I'm using um, images I downloaded from Adobe Stock. Uh, this mermaid and this uh, underwater image I downloaded and licensed uh, from Adobe Stock. All other images, uh, 3D object I downloaded from uh, pixelsquid.com. You can download pixelsquid.com plugin um, for uh, Photoshop and you will be able to use all um, 3D models. You don't have to create any 3D model from scratch. Uh, I love, 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 love Pixel Squid um, objects. Um, believe or not, I'm using Pixel Squid um, uh, models every day. Of, I believe more than four years already and I'm in love with it. Um, You'll be, you, you will be able to download um, a 3D object as for a PSD file as well, or, yeah, or JPEG file, it's up to you. Now, I will highlight my um, underwater um, layer. I will click on icon, uh, image icon one more time, and I will click on files. Why on files? Because here, guys, I have 3D objects I downloaded from pixelsquid.com as PSD file. To, uh, that mean, uh, means without background. It's easier for me. Uh, and I love it. I will click on this uh, Lily um, uh, 3D object and voila. I will scale size up. And I will reposition it right behind my mermaid. And look at this. I don't need to uh, remove background or create 3D object from scratch. Everything is ready. Yes, yes, yes. This is a beauty of Pixel Squid um, models. I will click on files icon again. And here, guys, I have another lily I want uh, to use. I will scale size up and I will reposition it behind my uh, mermaid again. Done. Now. I would like to add another um, 3D object, same files, fishy fishy. I will reposition it. I will scale size up. Mm, it's too much, a little bit. I want to make sure that it's on a distance. And I don't care about uh, shadows because what I will do for this object, guys, I will click on uh, layer properties icon to expand our layer properties panel and I will change blend mode for this fish. Uh, currently I am on uh, in uh, on a normal blend mode. Let's switch to darken or multiply. I like multiply and also guys I can uh, bring down opacity of uh, my fish. Just like that. I like it because it's like on a distance. If you like guys uh, let me show to you one thing. I will hide this um, fish layer. I will click on um, image icon. I will click on photos. <clears throat> and here, guys, I have same fish. I downloaded as JPEG file from, from um, pixelsquid.com. Uh, I will click on uh, select subject. Select subject uh, will select my fish. I will mask it out. I will reposition it just like that. I will scale size down. And again, I will change blend mode for this fish. So I will switch to fish image icon, not a layer mask icon, fish image icon. I will bring back a layer properties panel and I will uh, switch blend mode to multiply. Yes, and also I will bring a down opacity of this fish, just like this. Look at this, guys. Now, what I will do, I will highlight my top layer, my mermaid layer. I will click on um, image icon one more time. I will click on files and here I have this turtle. I will click on it and just like this. I will scale size up and I will reposition it in front of my mermaid. A little bit bigger, just like this and I will click done. Yes, guys, 
I don't need to remove background uh, from my tart uh, fish or a lily or um, turtle image because I downloaded uh, this image as PSD file from pixelsquid.com. Now, I love my composition. I love um, this um, image, but what I would like to to do i would like to bring everything in harmony La now we have all our subject in different um, tonal range <clears throat> example our mermaid has um, um more human skin tones uh usually mermaid um mermaids are always underwater and their skin is more um the skin has more uh fishy color can we fix it in photoshop on mobile yes 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 I will highlight my uh, mermaid image layer. I will click to expand my layer properties panel. And here, guys, I will click on add clipped adjustment, just like that. I will click on color balance and I will tell Photoshop, you know, I would like to make your skin tone looks more like mermaid, just like this. Yes, yes, yes. Nothing is too complicated. Perfect. I like it. Now, guys, I have another problem. I like how her skin uh, looks right now. I like her skin uh, color now, but I would like to remove um, this color from the shell she holds next to her ear. Let me zoom in my document. Because, guys, Photoshop on iPad is smart. Photoshop on iPad creates an um, uh, adjustment layer with layer mask. I will click to be sure I activated it. I will switch to my um, brush tool with black color on it. I will increase size of my brush and I will paint out color from this shell, just like that. And again, guys, if you paint it more than you want it, as I did right now, I will switch color of my brush to white and I will paint a back part of um, my uh, adjustment layer I would like to keep just like this and now yes she's mermaid a real 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 mermaid uh, what else we can do let me close uh, layer properties panel just to um, for better preview now we have everything like in harmony um, I like everything. What I don't like, as I mentioned uh, just a second ago, I don't like uh, my um, color color balance. Uh, it's not in harmony. Uh, I will merge all my layers except my uh, background layer. I don't need this layer. I will merge all my layers. I will click on three um, dots. And I will uh, ask Photoshop, please Photoshop merge visible, just like that. And now, guys, we, I have three layers. I don't need these layers. First layer is my uh, background layer. I don't need this layer. I will um, delete this layer. And uh, second layer, I don't need. It's uh, our first uh, layer with uh, this fish. I don't need this um, layer anymore. I will delete it as well. And now we have only one beautiful layer. You know, guys, I made mistake. I will undo, undo, undo. I don't want to merge. Why? I will show to you just in a second. Uh, let me do like this. Yes. What I would like to do, guys, I would like to add a little bit um, uh, um, water splashes to my design. I will highlight my... Uh, you know, guys, no, I will merge everything. Yes, like this. Sorry for that. So I will create a new empty layer just like that. I will switch to another um, brush. Uh, guys, in uh, Photoshop on iPad, by default, we have um, all amazing brushes we can uh, start uh, working with. I love all of them. Um, for uh, particular this example, I will use a spattered texture. Um, brush i will click on eyedropper tool and i will pick color out of my background image i will increase size of my brush just like that and i will add a little bit of texture to my background 
you know, this is not brush I would like to use. I will use uh, maybe spatter inside. Yes. And I will bring opacity of this brush down. And I will add a little bit, um, a few splashes of water around my fish. And I will change a blend mode for uh, this um, layer. Let's see. Color burn. No. Lighten screen i like screen and also i will bring down opacity of this layer just like that i will increase size of my brush and i will add a little bit um, more splashes around my mermaid just like this yes 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 what else we can do guys i will create a new empty layer i will switch to um spattering texture brush let's see i will increase size of my brush and maybe i will add a little bit of splashes of sparkle on top of this flower yes 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 and this one as well and this one and what i will do i will bring down opacity of this layer yes now we are talking hello hello wendy what else we can add? I would like to add few, uh, maybe one more art detail. I will create a new empty layer. I will switch to a mixed spatter brush. I will increase the size of my brush. Let's see, I'm not sure. And I will add, oh yes, a little bit more art, splashes of art to my painting, uh, to my um, photo compositing, just like this maybe in front of her just one splash yes 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 and again we can bring down opacity of this layer just like that now i will merge all layers i will um expand layer properties panel and i will click on add a, a clipped adjustment just like this now what i will do i will click on a color balance and I will add a little bit more a blue a color to my entire image, just like that. Maybe like this, because she's underwater, guys. And if I would like, I can add another um, uh, clipped adjustment, hue saturation. Let's see, it's too much. Mm. You know what? I don't like... Uh, this adjustment let's see let's add levels i will click on levels and i will specify that i would like to adjust blue color i will click on blue icon and let's see yes 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 look at this now she's under the water water is so clear that we can see her and fish and turtle and lilies we can see everything look at this and that's it guys this is our photo compositing on uh in adobe photoshop on the ipad it's super easy <laughs> thank you wendy i love what i do thank you terry thank you so much guys so this is our image you can share your image in the way you like usual uh, procedure uh, on mobile and that's it you can add less or more details it's up to you if you would like to continue working on your project guys all your art you um you create on mobile in adobe photoshop on ipad or in adobe fresco on ipad is after saved as a cloud document example if you would like to continue working on this project in photoshop don't merge all your layers just close your um document document uh, will be saved as a cloud document launch your photoshop on ipad and you will be able to continue working on same project in adobe photoshop on desktop and all layers will be available for you unless if you would like to merge everything and you are happy with this you just want to add um I don't know something you can merge layers uh when i said uh, don't merge layers uh uh, I meant if you do, if you want to have all layers available for you in Adobe Photoshop on desktop, so don't merge, don't merge them. 
So guys, this is what I wanted to share with you today. I hope you liked it. I hope you will create something. Um, if you will, um, please share your creation on Twitter and tag me in your creation. And please mention that you created this after our stream because I really, really, really would like to see what you will create after this um, live stream. And again, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> My pleasure, Andrea. Uh, and again, if you would like to learn about something else uh, uh, across Adobe applications, just let, let me know. I will be more than happy to do it for you. Thank you for all your support, guys. Thank you for everything. And, and, and I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we will talk about digital painting in Adobe Fresco. Adobe Fresco is another Adobe mobile application, painting application. And we will paint something for Mother's Day. Yes, guys, Mother's Day is uh, this upcoming Sunday. So we will create some beautiful art and maybe you will give this art to your mother, sister, wife. So guys, see you tomorrow. Same time, 9 a.m. Easter time. Thank you guys. Bye.